Hello, dear friends. Reporting about what is happening doesn't mean that I agree with everything. Facts are sacred, but opinion is free. I prefer organic farming to futuristic agriculture. Opinion piece. Vertical farming. Futuristic fruits and vegetables. Hydroponic vertical farms. Space technology on Earth. Hydroponic farming spreads. Proliferation of vertical farms. Inflation bites the consumer. People demand better wages and decent work. Germany recommends stocking up on food. Let's start. The indoor vertical farming industry is in enclosed spaces is the future of food that multinationals have thought of, as hydroponic vertical farms are popping up all over the world. In addition, they have already approved lab-grown meat and genetically modified livestock. The vertical farm or vertical agriculture is the cultivation of plants inside multi-story buildings or skyscrapers, often called farm scrapers, derived from the English term skyscraper. In these buildings, which, which function as large greenhouses, technologies such as hydroponics or aeroponics are used to grow the plants. Some designs include the practice of animal husbandry, especially aquaculture on the lower floors, thus becoming aquaponic systems. This would be good for large spacecraft, but seems to, too artificial for life on Earth. In 2009, the first commercial vertical hydroponics systems were introduced to the market. In these systems, crops are grown on several vertically overlapping levels, but not necessarily on floors as in buildings. The problem of energy expenditure due to the need of, to use artificial light was solved in the first systems with rotating crops, so that each plant is exposed to, life, to light only for the time necessary to grow in the right way. The first vertical farm in Europe using this system was inaugurated in September 2009 at the Pycton Zoological Gardens in Pycton, UK, to produce food for the Pax animals. Business As soon as the future of food through vertical farming took root in August 2020, Monsanto Bayer and the Singapore Sovereign Wealth Fund, Temasek, launched a $30 million startup called Unfold, which is developing new varieties of vegetable seeds adapted for pedigree farms. Bowery Farming's new facility in Arlington, Texas, will be able to serve 60 million people within a 200-mile radius. Vertical farms are being built around the world. Plenty, founded in 2014, is a privately held company based in San Francisco, California. They use hydroponics to grow leafy green vegetables. The company's goal is to build 500 vertical farms in densely populated urban areas around the world. The advisory group for International Agricultural Research owns the world's largest private seed banks, which are controlled by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Rockefeller, Ford and World Bank Foundations. If they controlled the seeds, they would control the food, and if they controlled the food, they could use a digital identifier to control consumer access to food. Bill Gates insists that drafts and climate change will deprive us of the opportunity to engage in agriculture, and that in the future the population would move to large cities where indoor vertical farming 
would be necessary to feed the citizens. The alleged plan would be to track your bank accounts and even body movements, temperature readings, record all your conversations, track all computers, emails, private messages and much more. Supply crisis. First, they are ready to control the food supply. Second, the new food control system is now in place. Third, another fire and another food production plant. Fourth, more than a dozen large food and meat factories have accidentally caught fire in recent months. Five, the food industry has already been monopolized by 10 companies, the major shareholders of most of which are Bangwat and BlackRock. Six, Union Pacific is demanding a 20% reduction in rail transportation. Reset news. First, the white hats are in control. Second, summer will be on fire. Put on your spiritual hat and get ready. Third, Canada will test its emergency broadcast system by May 4th. Fourth, green light act activated by quantum computer. Incoming digital warfare. Great expectations. Five, gasoline prices skyrocketing. Crip crippling inflation on the brink of war. Six, Germany's interior minister, Nancy Fasser, has recommended that citizens stock up on food for 10 days. Seven, if the tax side loses the ability to create money out of thin air to finance their plan, then it will be game over for them, according to Benjamin Fulford. Game over. Stock market. First, Wall Street indexes bounce timidly. timidly. Second, the New York Stock Exchange closes in the green and the Dow Jones rises 0.26%. Third, Wall Street is so spooked that stocks could be ready to move higher. Four, 10-year Treasury yields hit 3%. Five, Wall Street sees risk of default by major banks. Six, some central banks are reporting losses and we see sudden failures. Europe. First, Europe trades lower after a sharp weekly decline on Wall Street. Second, European stock markets opened the month of May lower, weighted down by Wall Street. Third, The European Union accuses Apple of blocking competition. Fourth, Repsol is the best index 35 stock in 2022 and it still has room to go higher. Maggots. Gold price rises ahead of Fed meeting. Se second, the Fed opens a meeting with a half point rate hike on the table. Third, The Fed wants to cool the housing market. Natural gas. First, natural gas hits a 13-year high due to growing supply jitters as demand rises. Second, demand for natural gas has never been higher. Why is production slowing? Oil. First, Texas crude oil rises five a half point percent to close at more than $105 a barrel. Second, oil falls as China, China's blockades overshadow Russia's production. Third, low oil production. The oil market is experiencing a serious production problem and analysts warns, although prices temporarily retreat amid blockades in China. Four, The European Union finalizes a plan to embargo Russia's oil and shield itself against possible gas cuts. 5. 
New European sanctions to hit Russian oil target more banks. 6. Hungary maintain, maintains its veto of European Union Bank on Russian oil and gas purchases. Russia. First, Russia slides out of default as Putin has been forced to plunder its dollar reserves to pay creditors. Second, Ukraine confirms drone destruction of two Russian ships in the Black Sea. Third, Israel condemns Lavrov for saying Hitler had Jewish origins. Criticize. Americas. First, Cuba implements measures to develop sustainable tourism. Second, U.S. rules out inviting Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela to the summit of the Americas. China. First, Taiwan signals risk of stinger missile delays, says it pressures U.S. Second, refineries in China continue to buy Russian oil. Third, some in Shanghai go for a rail ride as Be Beijing tightens restrictions. Four, Hong Kong to ease restrictions further. Five, eight Chinese warships led by the aircraft carrier Liaoning begin a realistic combat training mission in the Western Pacific. Cryptocurrencies. First, Warren Buffett says he wouldn't take all the Bitcoin in the well for $25. Second, the Swiss National Bank opposes keeping Bitcoin as a reserve currency. Third, Wikipedia will stop accepting crypto donations. Four, Intel CEO predicts cheap shortage to last until 2024. An avoidable recession. First, some economists say a recession is unavoidable due to the growing weakness of the global economy. Financial experts recommend paying off debt before an economic downturn, but mortgages may be an, exec an exception. An economic recession appears to be on the doorstep, and that could put some homeowners in a difficult situation. The debt that financial advisors are most concerned about is high interest debt, such as revolving interest credit cards rather than low interest loans such as mortgages. Second, most financial experts recommend correcting your finances before an expected recession, and for many households that would mean cutting debt. But the debt that financial advisors are most concerned about is high interest debt such as credit cards rather than low interest loans, such as mortgages. Third, inflation bites the consumer. With inflation at its highest point in 40 years, citizens are starting to feel a pinch in their pocketbook. Four, the world is calling for better wages and decent work on May Day. Space, NASA to send two female body models to the moon to investigate space radiation risks to astronauts. Second, NASA's postdoctoral program seeks senior and early career scientists for prestigious fellowships. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.